Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Township of Lacey Caucus meeting, November 10th, 2022. Adequate notice of this meeting has been given in accordance with the Public, Open Public Meetings Act, pursuant to public laws, 1975. Said notice was advertised in the Asbury Park Press and the Beacon and was posted on the bulletin board, showing the time and place of the meeting. We start with a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Justice for all. <clears throat> Item number one, proclamation for Harold Mathis, Jr. Oh okay, this, this might take a while. Whereas the Lacey Soccer Club was formed in 1972 by a group of community-minded individuals, and whereas Harold Mathis, Jr. got involved with soccer through his brother-in-law, Paul McDonald, and became an assistant coach for his son's teams, the Berkeley Tigers and the Atlantic Soccer Club. And whereas after two years with Berkeley, Howard moved to Lacey, where he and Paul McDonald put together the beginnings of the Lacey Soccer Club. And whereas on January 27, 1972, Harold Mathis Jr., President, Fred Glatz, Vice President, Robert Reeby, Treasurer, Jim Connolly, Secretary, and Wayne Quinn, came together and agreed that they would organize and raise money to start the Sock Lacey Soccer Club end, whereas Harold and his board went to work getting sponsorships for the Lacey Soccer Club from local businesses and relied heavily on fundraising through local bake sales and fundraising cans to keep the club going, and whereas the orange uniforms for the teams were heavily influenced by the Holland Dutch World Cup 1972 team featuring the late, great Johan Kripp and the new Gatorade drink brought in for his players. And whereas Harold Mathis Jr. worked with and trained referees to take the official FIFA test holding classes at the municipal building, and whereas in the beginning there were three teams in the Pee Wee division, the Roadrunners, the Wildcats, and the Demons. The novice division of older players had one team named the Chargers, and whereas Harold coached both the Pee Wee Roadrunners and in novice chargers. And whereas in order to encourage new participants in the newly formed Lacey, Lacey Soccer Club, it was required that each player played at least one half so that the parents had the opportunity to watch their child learn and thrive in the sport. And whereas in 1972, the, the player's fee for the registration was $4 <laughs> per player and if shoes were needed, they would figure something out. And whereas Harold Mathis Jr., the Lacey School Soccer Board, and the Township officials came together and decided to utilize the outfields at the Forkett Elementary School for the Lacey Soccer Club soccer games end, whereas Harold Mathis Jr., a professional surveyor, surveyed and worked out the first field with the help of Robert Greeby at the Forkett River Elementary School. And whereas all approvals for the use of the new field were completed on June 19, 1972, and coordinated with Mayor Bill Mason and Principal Mitchell. And whereas on September 9, 1972, the Lacey Soccer Club officially opened its 1972 outdoor season and was in District 5 of the six divisions of the New Jersey State Youth Soccer Association affiliated with USSF and FIFA. And whereas the ceremonial first kick was made by Township Committeeman Bill Mason and the playing of the national anthem and the flag being held by Jim Mathis, flanked by teammates Paul Glatz and Teddy Greeby. And whereas the Lacey Roadrunners defeated the Lacey Demons 73 for the Lacey Soccer Club's first game, the Berkeley Zebras defeated the Lacey Wildcats one to nothing, and the novice division Lacey Chargers were defeated by the Berkeley Cougars four to three. Whereas the citizens of Lacey desire to recognize, honor, and express their pride and appreciation to Harold Mathis Jr. for the numerous community contributions and commitments to the Lacey Township, to the Township of Lacey as leader in the service, dedication, and commitment to our local youth and citizens. Now, therefore, I, Mark Dykoff, Mayor of the Township of Lacey, do on behalf of myself and the Township Committee hereby express our gratitude and thanks to Harold Mathis Jr. for his dedicated service to the youth of Lacey Township. Surprise to 
him. That, yeah, I can tell by the look on his face he had no idea. No idea. No, no, no I could. Next time I'm going to look at water or talk about a I have to say, in some of the news articles that the family provided, what I found interesting when they were talking about creating the soccer club and using what's the multi-purpose room downstairs in the community hall, it, I mean, in the municipal building, it was the new municipal building that they said in the news articles back in 1972. Oh, yeah. It's in the new municipal building. That's right. That's right. That is pretty good. Soon we'll be able to say did you want to say something? Are you all speak to Mr. Mathis after? Okay, very okay. good. Okay. Okay. I remember did two. Did you want to say anything, Mr. Mathis? Did you want to say anything? Thank you. <laughs> okay. I actually remember playing on those uh, fields behind Fort So Rivers do School. I, so do I. I, I was on the Pollywogs team. I, that was the name of my team, the Pollywogs. Yeah, I think I was like, yes. I, I think I was seven, I was about seven years old. I was the Pollywogs. Okay, I have number two, Proclamation for National Homeless Children and Youth Awareness Month. Whereas every month, every year, more than 2.5 million kids in America will face a period of homelessness, and whereas youth homelessness is mostly common as a result of lack of affordable housing, family conflict, economic circumstances, racial gaps, mental health issues, and substance abuse problems. And whereas children and young adults who experience homelessness are 87% more likely to drop out of school, while those who stay in school oftentimes fall behind, fall asleep in class, and experience increased anxiety and depression, lack of focus, and decreased general health. Whereas along with losing, losing their home, community, and friends, and routines, as well as their sense of stability and safety, many homeless youths are the, also victims of trauma. While trying to survive on the streets, youth are exposed to countless dangers with an increased likelihood of substance abuse, early parenthood, impulsivity, depression, post-traumatic traumatic stress disorder, and a vulnerability to being trafficked. And whereas to get out of homelessness, Youth need housing and support, including short and long-term housing, rapid rehousing and reunification with their families. And whereas a roof over their head and a good night's sleep, okay, right here, good night's sleep, and for a child reduces depression and anxiety, helps them focus and do better in school, and improves their immune system and general health. Therefore, be resolved by the Mayor and Township Committee of the Township of Lacey, County of Ocean State, New Jersey, that Lacey Township does hereby proclaim November as National Homeless Children and Youth Awareness Month in Lacey Township and formally recognizes family promise of Southern Ocean County for the work they do to help fight family and youth homelessness and provide a safe space for those in need. Uh, Jim Lowney. segmentation and removal by the end of this year. So that is well ahead of our schedule. Uh, we've taken down about 54 structures at the site. We're working on our new railways building, and then we'll move to the two larger structures, the turbine and the reactor building. 
So we're about three years ahead of schedule for the demo of buildings to begin. And one of the things I want to point out is that we've taken over 17 million pounds of waste off of that site. But the whole thing is we've, we've recycled and reprocessed about 25% of that. So we're not just looking to rip and ship and, and bury the waste. We're looking to make sure we recycle wherever we can. So we're at a 25%. My goal is to get to 40% over the next two years as we get into the focus. Um, everything else, the fuel pool, we've emptied out the fuel pool. The last remaining portions of that are coming out. Um, at that point, we'll put the fuel pool gates in, and then we'll start working and cleaning out the cavity and the reactor vessel itself. And that's the point where we'll be draining down to the torus. Um, along with uh, what we're doing, we still are committed to Lacey Township, and we will continue to fund where we can and provide funds as we can. So this year, um, we're just shy of $40,000 that we've given out to local charities and the township and everything else. Thanks. Um, and this is for Bangor, so mm -hmm. come on up. And what we're doing is uh, giving a donation to each one of the first responders. Value them, so. Very nice. Very nice. Lacey Food Bank is one of our favorites, so we uh, continue to donate to them. We're also doing a food drive um, between uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas when they get to hit the harvest. Any questions for me? Yes. Okay. You say you're about three years ahead of time. Ahead yes, of how long is it going to take to take those last two big buildings down and get that? How long do you think it's I believe it's going to take another five years. Another five years. Yeah. So you're going to be done around 2028? Yes, sir. All right. I'm ready to repurpose. Injuries, accidents down there, what's happening with that? I haven't seen any of the papers lately, so I'm always going to severe has been first aids. We just had a first aid this week, and when I talk about first aids, um, it's a minor abrasion on a fill finger, clean, put a band on. As soon as you clean it, it comes the first day, and that's it. Bumped heads, things like that. I just put out a safety message going over all our first aids and basically going with that and making sure that we learn from it so we don't have the same problems. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, uh, could you tell our residents uh, your, your title, your education, how long you've been there? I'm sorry. Could you tell our residents your title, your education, how long you've been there at the point? Uh, title, title, and how long right. you've been there. <laughs> My name is Jeff Dostel. Um, Paul, Eric, Jeffrey, Michael Dostel. <laughs> wow, that's a big name. Um, I grew up in New York City and uh, went to Maritime College. Got a degree in nuclear engineering and marine engineering. Jeff, just a, close to the mic or, or looked it up, so. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's not picking I have a degree in nuclear engineering and marine engineering. Um, went to Maritime College, and my idea was to work my way southwest. I ended up in Lacey, and I expected to be here two years. I fell in love with uh, Lacey and been here for 40. So, yeah, really do love it. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Anyone else? As always, thank you for your, your, your you. generosity, and we look forward to working with you as things go forward. Thank you. Okay, item number four, best practices checklist. Annually, the, um, the CFO and the municipal clerk are required to submit best practices inventory. Um, it is uh, about 50 or 60 questions that, are, um, that come from the state of New Jersey that we need to answer with regards to various um, categories, shared services, health benefits, contractual matters, budgetary matters, assessment matters, and all, all those items. I am required to submit it to the governing body, which you've all received a copy of, um, for you guys to just look at it. It's already been submitted to the state of New Jersey. It needed to be submitted by today. We submitted it actually, I think, like October 12th. So I just needed to put it on the agenda and have you guys acknowledge that it was accepted. Any add-ons? I have no add-ons here. I have one. Oh, Steve. Uh-oh. Wow. Steve's got an add-on. On. No, every couple minutes, Veronica, I did this. Uh, this uh, goes to low sound levels. I, I don't know what's going on, but it's picking it up. Right. It's picking it up. Only because he's, well, whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's my hand on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so we motion to adjourn. Move it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, um, would, would, um, 
anybody like to leave before, as we're taking a oh, break yes. between our meetings? You can, you can all leave unless you want to stay around for the really exciting township <laughs> and meeting agenda. Appreciate it. Thank pay, you, guys. We Thank pay you. the bills. And I'm glad it was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Township of Lacey Township meeting, November 10, 2022. Adequate notice this meeting has been given in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act pursuant to public laws 1975. Said notice was advertised in the Asbury Park Press and the beacon was posted on the bulletin board showing the time and place of the meeting. We start with a salute to the flag and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for <clears throat> Item number one, first reading of ordinance 2022-39, amending chapter 93 so as to amend the section entitled Employment of Off-Duty Police Officers. In order to the Township Police and County of Ocean State, New Jersey, amending and supplementing chapter 93 of the Township Code entitled Police Department so as to amend section 93-15 item C entitled employment of off-duty police officers um, when we refer to off-duty police officers we're talking about the contractor um, services jobs so you have uh, gray supply putting in new gas pipes throughout the town they have to pay for the use of our police officers so we are going to a new electronic system we manage it currently all in-house so there's administrative fees that we charge gas insurance those kind of items um, wear and tear on the car and then the clerical help well now we're going to an electronic system where most of it will be done via cell phones and so on and so forth so that was a 33 percent markup now we, we are marking that down to a 25 percent markup because we won't have the component of the clerical unit doing that so, but i have to update the code book motion on first reading move it. second mr mcdonald yes mr kennis yes mr curatolo yes mayor Dugard. yes i have number two first reading ordinance 2022-40 amending chapter 335 so as to revise the permitted density and bulk requirements in various zones. In order to the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State of New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 335 of the Township Code of the Township of Lacey entitled Zoning so as to revise the permitted density and bulk requirements in various business, commercial, and multifamily inclusionary zones. This is um, going to be in various, uh, the C-150 Highway Business Zone, uh, the C-200 um, Limited Business Zone, the C-100 Marine Commercial Zone, uh, the multifamily inclusionary uh, district overlay zone, and we are uh, for uh, section one and section two. The maximum density will be permitted in those zones shall be eight units per gross acre. This is first reading. Can I have a motion? Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor Dykoff? Yes. Item number three, resolution 2022 303, appointing a municipal 911 coordinator. Resolution of Township Lacey, County of Ocean State, New Jersey, appointing George Resitar as the municipal 911 coordinator for the Township of Lacey. The Ocean County Sheriff's Department requires a point person for the 911 coordinator. So basically, what that is is when you add new streets, you add um, new addresses, they have to coordinate that with um, telecommunications at the county. And we're switching it up from um, Lieutenant Sullivan to um, Sergeant Resitar. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Caratolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor Dykoff? Yes. Item number four, resolution 2022-304, authorizing the receipt of bids for the installation of a traffic light. Resolution of Township Lacey County of Ocean State, New Jersey, authorizing receipt of bids for the traffic light installation at Lake Barnegat Drive and Haines Street. So sometime late this winter, December, um, possibly January, we will be going out to bid for the Lake Barnegat Drive um, traffic light. Um, we are hoping to be able to, uh, as soon as my annual debt and financial statements are due in 2023, we will be um, most likely opening the bids and awarding the bids uh, if we can do a special bond ordinance for that, because it is 20 plus weeks to get the equipment. Wow. That's only been... Move it. Second. <laughs> Mr. Canis? Yes. Mr. Caratolo? Yes. 
Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mayor Dykoff? Yes, item number five, resolution 2022-305, authorizing the township to enter into a cooperative purchasing agreement. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County Budget State of Jersey authorizing the Township of Lacey into entering into a cooperative purchasing agreement with the lead agency, County of Somerset, for the purchase of work materials and supplies pursuant to NJSA 48 colon 11 11 5. This is just us joining another cooperative. They offer some um, additional savings on various products that we may order. So we'd like to have um, be able to shop around and possibly get things at a cheaper price. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mayor Dykoff? Yes. Item number six, resolution 2022-306, authorizing the acceptance of a subgrant award for the federal fiscal year 2022. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County of State, New Jersey, authorizing the acceptance of a subgrant award of the federal fiscal year 2022 of Emergency Management Performance Grant and Emergency Management Agency Assistance. Again, this is in the amount of $10,000. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Curtolo? Yes. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mayor Dykoff? Yes. Item number seven, resolution 2022-310, selecting a P3 partnership. Resolution of the Township of Lacey County of Ocean State of New Jersey designating a public-private partnership entity developer for a proposed new municipal complex and recreation facility. Okay, we are not committed to spending a <coughs> dime of money at this point in order for us to move to the next phase we need to appoint a partner. So back in August we had, um, well actually back in 20. 21, we had um, received, no, actually 2020, we received an unsolicited proposal from a P3 um, individual, Johnson Controls Industries. Based on the unsolicited proposal, we were required to make an advertisement and open it up for any other proposals to come through. So that was done um, in um, August of 2021. Those proposals were due January of 2022. We did receive a second proposal. We held a special meeting to interview both of those um, teams on August 31st of 2022. It was done in executive session since it is a matter of property, real estate, and possible litigation. And Johnson Controls Industry and AST Development were the two applicants. After that, the governing body and the team that we have developed um, with um, management and department heads here rated those um, applications. And we have determined at this time that uh, the best partner for the Township of Lacey to possibly look at these goals is Johnson Control Industries. So at this point, what we're going to do is we will be sitting down with them and developing an agreement and obviously specking out um, building types, the sizes we want, so on and so forth, so we can assess a number to this to say, is this something that the Township of Lacey can afford? If the answer is no, no harm done, we all walk away, we shake hands. If the answer is yes, then there is an application that has to get made to the um, local finance board in Trenton. From there, it is an up to a nine month process that Trenton has to review this to determine are the residents of Lacey Township um, secure with what the governing body is doing. We do not want to get them in any financial harm where we would all go broke so they have the final say in whether or not the township is fiscally secure to be able to move forward with this project. And again, it's for an indoor recreation facility and a new municipal complex which will compromise all of our buildings under one roof, um, including the police department and community development. Motion? Move it. Second. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curtis? <coughs> yes. Mr. McDonald? Abstain. And Mayor Dykoff? Yes. Uh, my, item number eight, resolution 2022 307, authorizing the refund of deposit money. Resolution of the Township of Lacey, County of Ocean, State of New Jersey, authorizing the refund of deposits held for the use of municipal facilities. Move it. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mayor Dykoff? Yes, item number nine, resolution 2022-308, authorizing the payment of township bills. Resolution of the Township Lacey County of Ocean State of New Jersey, authorizing the payment of township bills in the amount of $10,306,870.61. Move it. Second. Mr. McDonald? Yes, and I'll abstain on D0400. D0400. Mr. Kennis? Yes. Mr. Curtolo? Yes. Mayor Dykoff? Yes, uh, item number 10, monthly reports. Municipal Clerk's Office for the month of October collected receipts in the amount of $3,794.60. Road opening permits for the month of October were in the amount of $9,405. Recycling commodity for the month of October was $1,157.20. Truck parking in the month of October was $675. Community development for the month of October was in the amount of $66,096. Motion to accept the reports is read. Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Motion to approve Township meeting minutes of October 27, 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, any add-ons? No, excuse me. Thank you. I, I have no add-ons. Okay, uh, comments from the committee. Deputy Mayor McDonald. 
Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just want to cause one brief, uh, short. Uh, congratulate Mr. Kennis, Mr. Cortitello, <coughs> Mrs. Giuliano on their, on their election. Uh, well run, well deserved. Um, I'd like to congratulate all the candidates who put their name out on there. It's not easy to get out there and ask people to vote for you. Uh, so I'd like to congratulate them. And another thing I'd like to congratulate the piece, people of Lacey Township for getting out to vote. You had a great turnout when you counted the numbers. Um, uh, there wasn't, like, like, like I refer to as jazz at the top of the ticket. There wasn't a governor, there wasn't a, uh, a president or anything like that uh, to really excite the ticket. But uh, our residents turned out and, and voted for the candidates of their choice. And, uh, a good job. Mayor, it's all Thank you, Mr. Curatolo. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'd like to uh, first start out by uh, remembering our veterans tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's Veterans Day at 11:11 at 11, 11, at 11 a.m. Um, we eulogize and remember those veterans right out in front of our building here to the left. And if you can make it, it's always a, a touching uh, ceremony because we care about our veterans. And we have a lot of them in our town, and a lot of them are seniors. So. Uh, it's a very Pleasure. It's a very uh, e easy thing to do if you have the time to remember the veterans. Um, I want to, in that same line, uh, recognize the efforts of our ninth district. Senator Connor sits uh, on the uh, military affairs committee for the Senate, and on that website, uh, some of us are around our town and around the district are all on periodically a newsletter that comes out from the ninth. There is a plethora of information for veterans and seniors on there. Get an opportunity to see it. Uh, easy things to apply for, uh, to help out financially and otherwise. So commend them for that. And in line with what Deputy Mayor McDonald said, it's, it's not easy to run. I want to commend everybody, but it's humbling to see six to 7,000 people come out and vote. <coughs> For God bless you. Sneeze on the truth. Um, for good, good running mate and friends, uh, committee woman Giuliano, and of course my, my, my brother over here, Stephen Kennis. Uh, just great, great people, and uh, it, it's humbling. Six thousand people is an awful lot for no top of the ticket. So to, to everyone, the teachers, the students, the seniors, the moms and dads, I'm humbled. And thank you very much. And congratulate to all of you in the audience and those that aren't in the audience that, that ran. You all deserve to be uh, applauded. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome, Mr. Kennis. Thank you, Mayor. I'm going to second all this stuff. Uh, I just want to thank the citizens of Lacey for coming out to vote and for their confidence in myself, Peter, and Peggy Sue. And it's really a reflection of the entire committee, um, Veronica included, and our mm -hmm. professionals. Um, it's a total team effort. Um, we will continue working to keep Lacey one of the most efficient and well-managed townships in the county and a great place to live. Thank you again for your support. And lastly, and most important, please think of our veterans tomorrow and for the sacrifices they have made in our country. That's all I have. Okay. So a uh, couple of things. Uh, number one, if anyone doesn't know, today is the birthday of the U.S. Marine Corps. Yes, Happy 247th birthday to them. Um, and <laughs> segue into... Uh, Re remember our veterans, of course, tomorrow. Um, we will have our um, rain or shine. We'll have our uh, uh, ceremony out, out back. Um, thank you, Holtec, for coming in and updating us. Uh, they've been very good at communicating. Um, they, uh, they always give to the township, and we hope to see them give more. Um, congratulations to the candidates up here. Uh, look forward to working with all of you for another you, you and Mr. Kennedy and Mr. Curitola for uh, three years, and then Mrs. Giuliano will run again next year, but I'm confident that uh, she will be uh, successful as well. Um, along the lines of, of the, the election, the interesting part, and I want to thank uh, Administrator Loray and her staff for running a great uh, campaign or a great election day in this town. Of course, you, you, you watch the news and you and actually it's interesting you know I follow not just Ocean County and you know national politics or you know listen they are what they are but um, I have interest in other counties and other townships throughout New Jersey and with that exception our township and our county 
are right on top of getting the information. It's kind of nice to, to know that. Uh, you can, and especially being the polls close at eight and I want to be home by nine, it's really nice to you know get home early. Um, and with that, I'll uh, open the floor to public comment. Anyone? <laughs> Name and address, please. Uh, Melody Pryor, uh, 1619 Wickham Road. Um, first of all, I want to thank all our veterans um, for tomorrow and every day for everything that they do. Um, I'll be there tomorrow. I hope everybody can turn out tomorrow. I've been trying to tell everybody, turn out, pay your respects. It's very important. Um, also, I'm really amazed at the amount of people that turned out to vote yesterday. That was like presidential. It was, it was outstanding, and I'm very excited. And um, with that, I'd like to um, congratulate Mr. Kennis, Mrs. Giuliano, and Mr. Curatolo for your reelection. Um, and also for Mrs. Amato and Mr. Conti on their win to the Board of Election. They ran a great, great um, campaign and uh, look forward to see what unfolds. Okay, um, I only have two topics to mention this meeting. I don't even think this thing's on, so it doesn't matter if my voice carries. Uh, no, um, speaking of, it, it's, it's being recorded it? in the back <laughs> room, so okay. it, that, that's um, why it's, it's really there. I have uh, only two topics to mention this meeting. As I've mentioned in a previous meeting, that I and many hold a deep concern for the safety of reflective markings on Newark Avenue. There is no need for large expense. Um, all we really need to, I mean, all we, there's no need to, for large expense to secure the safety of drivers and the safety and properties and homes of the people who live on Newark Avenue. There's so much traffic going through there now. And it's, you know, there's turns and there's bends. And when that road is wet, when there is ice, when there's whatever, you got lift drivers, they don't know it. They're, if we can slow it down, if we can please, and we don't even have to erect any new poles, we can just put reflective tape on trees. It wouldn't cost us anything. I'll buy the reflective tape. It's not necessarily proper in the manual on uniform traffic control devices. You have to follow rules. I understand that. You just can't but put it on a tree. It's, I understand it's, that, yeah. but whatever it takes, I, I don't know, because I personally, you know, that's why I'm bringing it up to you. Um, but please, it, whatever needs to be done, please. Do you know we get not one complaint about North Avenue? Well, I get complaints about because other I, you know, here. but look at how many people come to a meeting. Uh, I know, but no, but the, there's a phone Ms. call that they can make Laura, a phone call. Lorraine. Yeah, Laura. we don't we Ms. don't get Laura. a lot of complaints about North Carolina. I get complaints about Manchester, but Lake Barnegat Drive. Nobody shows. It, no, there's a phone that they can call oh, the office. I'm sorry, I'm this sorry. is what I'm saying. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah, no, they can call the office, and we okay, do and they address can email. Them. I, I understand. We do understand. address them, but people are intimidated to call. They are. Sometimes okay. they are. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, well, that yeah. that being said, that being said, mm -hmm. people are intimidated to call. Okay. That being said, um, okay. And one more thing. Um, there's a. First of all, thank you, committee members, for taking the citizens' concerns seriously. Speaking with and obtaining, well, I obtained some signatures, but it doesn't matter at this point. It consumes amount of time, energy, on behalf of those collecting signatures and those who sign the form to take time to understand well, why they're signing a form. But anyway, the concern is the Lake, Lake, uh, Lakeside Drive South. I understand they're doing a lot of work. I understand there's on both sides. I understand um, the concern. You know, um, we all understand the the necessity of improving infrastructure. However, many of the township taxpayers who once enjoyed driving on Lakeside Drive South can no longer do so. Since the pipe slash water lines have been laid in the areas on both sides of the street, there are, have, there are left significantly uneven, unlevel, and downright unsightly road patching. We taxpayers, taxpayers want to hold faith in what is a short term but we question whether this will be the final outcome once the infrastructure piping is complete. 
So that is the gas lines, and that's what Gray Supply is yeah. doing because they're upgrading the gas lines because the County of Ocean, who is in control of that road, yes. notified them that they have to do the upgrades because the county will yes. be repaving that road um, possibly next year for us, and they're also repaving the next, next year. It depends on when they can um, get the bidding and all of that out and the work done. It's up to Gray Supply to finish the work so they can put it in next year's budget. But they'll be pay repaving Lakeside Drive South. They'll be repaving a portion of Deerhead Lake Drive that they own and all of Lacey Road. Okay. So um, it is in the works by the okay. County of Ocean. It is I'm those just roads. so concerned about that road as are Yes, many. that's that. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. I travel I it all do. the time. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, that's the top coat. So there will be a second coat that goes over it to kind of level it out. But you're going to see a curve to curve uh, overlay in the near future. Thank you. That's yeah. what I really want to bring to ask. And that way other people do know. Because um, it was a really nice road to, tr yeah. to drive on once. And I really hope it returns that way. And uh, thank you for all your hard work and for listening and for the attention. Thank, thank you. you very much for all thank you, you do. Thank you. Anyone else? Time. Seeing none, motion to close the floor. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion, motion to adjourn. No, a re oh, re resolution of the Township Police and County Budget State of New Jersey authorizing the convening of executive okay. session to discuss matters of uh, personnel. Can I have a motion? Second. Um, Mr. McDonald? Yes. Mr. Gortolo? Yes. Mr. Canis? Yes. Mayor Dykoff? Yes. Now you can do a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. No we will further. not return. Uh, we say that all no further business. And we, and we, and we mean it. And we come back out here and